Grand Rising. Welcome to Starseed Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. I woke up feeling like I'm about to have the best Friday ever, okay? I don't know what it is, but, you know, first of all, it's March. And for all the Rams that could feel me, because I'm a March Ram, I celebrate all month, baby, and mostly into April. So... To all my fellow Pisceans and Pisces Rams Cusp, and as well as my full-blown Ram Alams, okay? Happy birthday from Starcy Direct, all right? I actually have plans to meditate and be one with nature today. Definitely been grounding, as well as, you know, moving like a capital G. And I'll just leave it at that, all right? Finding signs of my angels everywhere, okay? <clears throat> Took a nice little nature walk, nature walk this morning. Now, I'm in the process of steeping some tea, but this is what came out for today. And to be quite honest, I know this isn't my energy. So we're going to pull on it because this may be a message that someone needs to hear. Thank you for tuning in. The Star Seed Direct. Oh my God. Green tea, it works wonders for you. All right. Let's clarify use caution with your plants. Collector. Oh boy, spring break is coming up. My kids are excited. Use caution with your plans. Make a wish. All right, so something that you're wishing on or possibly manifesting, you need to use caution with it. I think that this sign of caution is mostly pertaining to not telling everyone what you're manifesting because I guarantee you there's going to be someone collective always that is going to be jealous or feel some type of way or, you know, self-entitled or prideful to try to take you down a couple notches. Little did they know, if you're chosen, they're just doing you a favor. Perhaps you learn this, all right? Some lessons you got to learn harder than others. People don't also realize that you may be having to move like this because people are nosy and can't mind their fucking business. All right. Undercover investigation. Clarified by stay. All right. In this particular deck, the stay card represents facing the inevitable. Okay. Somebody's being nosy. All right, obviously, you could be investigated or you can be investigating someone. You may have to face the inevitable in the situation, okay? Is that it is what it is. Whatever it is they're trying to find out. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, possibly how you're so lucky, collective. Hmm. Tell them it's the God in me. Use caution with your plans, Holy Spirit. Divine Masculine. Perhaps there is a Divine Masculine energy manifesting something. But this Divine Masculine needs to use caution with his plans. Perhaps he's trying to make a wish come true or be a wish for someone <laughs> i don't know divine masculine is trying to manifest something but he needs to not involve other people in this manifestation because i guarantee you they are keeping a close eye on him whether it's his wing man wing woman whatever take what resonates there's too many people involved for whatever this is this is just intuitively what i'm getting off this energy here 
there is something that divine masculine wants to manifest either today or in the next couple days or in the near future but he has to face the fact that there may be scrutiny or a really close eye on whatever this is that he's doing whoa confirmation I'm hearing bedrock. Like the Flintstones, Holy Spirit? <laughs> Yabba Dabba Doo, Divine Basket. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Hmm. Undercover investigation and stay. Holy Spirit, what are we at? Five minutes. This is just a little warm up. I gotta drink my tea. Oh, wow. Wow. Facing the inevitable that someone's getting investigated for an attempted murder or death. This definitely signifies an end or beginning of a cycle, depending on where this is or how you're involved. Wow, 28 is deriving to 10 also, so you have 10, 10, endings and beginnings. The Reaper. This also speaks of harvest. Someone may be getting investigated in regards to money. Mm. I wasn't expecting that collective. Let's see. Let's see what the innermost thoughts of Divine Masculine is for this situation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Divine Masculine thinks I must be the sun because there is so much shade around me. Hmm. Baby boy feeling like Ra. They trying him like it. Ra masculine. What's going on, boo? Mm. How about we uplift you with a little rainbow juice? Roy G. Biv, Divine Masculine. It's tea time. Tea time with Divine Masculine. <laughs> Do you put cream in your tea, Divine Masculine? Oh. Definitely strong solar plexus, root, and sacral. Yo, you may want to make sure that those are aligned, okay? Whatever this stressful situation is, it's, it's creating a blockage of these chakras, okay? Besides, it's springtime. You could totally get away with it, okay? Today, I am free of drama. Today, I will let go of the people that do not support me and only surround myself with positive people. Absolutely, Divine Masculine. Why? Because these type of people, Divine Masculine, are always going to find a problem for every solution. That is life. There's always going to be something going on. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how established you are. I don't care how many how popular you are. There's always going to be something going on, okay? Someone's always going to try to throw a monkey wrench into the plan. But you have to realize that despite whether there's shit going on behind the scenes or not, there ain't nothing wrong with wanting a drama-free life, okay? You know? Sometimes there's lessons to things. And whether we want to hold ourselves accountable or not, don't be the type of person that doesn't accept the role that they played in something. Like I'm for example, me as a divine feminine, I go through things all the time, but am I going to be depressed over that? Absolutely not. I wake up, I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm healthy as an ox. I just got checked up by the way. Um, my children are happy. It's about to be spring break. The weather's nice. As far as I'm concerned, these type of energies that are throwing shade to you, Divine Masculine, 
really are just miserable with their own lives. I'm also getting that this could have something to do with some kind of energy manipulation. Like, it's almost like Debbie Downer spells or something. Oh. Tut tut. Divine Masculine. Come on, drink up. Your tea is getting cold. Mm. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. You may be getting investigated. Hell, you may have to pay some penalties. But at the end of the day, whatever this is you're trying to manifest, whatever is your happy place right now mentally because of all this other buffoonery, you need to use caution. Whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, don't tell anybody. I don't care if it's your best fucking friend. I don't care if it's your butt buddy. I don't care if y'all knew each other since you knew each other since you knew each other. I don't care if y'all have like a long going game of horse weekly that y'all go back and forth with. I don't care how close you are to this person. Do not tell anyone. Divine Masculine. Because I guarantee you, regardless of how down someone's going to be for you, they don't want you to be that happy. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. They don't want you to be that happy because guess what? That means that they lose their little perks that come along with keeping you in this fuckery type energy. Okay? These people are literally living through you. Be careful, Divine Masculine. Know that you only have to put yourself around the people that love you and support you. As your divine feminine, you already know what it is. And to any other divine masculine for that reason, you don't have to put yourself around any kind of energy that isn't conduit to what you're trying to manifest. People also need to realize that it could be someone you're really close to, friends, family, coworkers. When you're trying to manifest something, you have to go hermit mode. It's not because, oh, you know, you're not inspired or you're not creating. You need to go hermit mode to manifest this quickly. People often ask me, you know, why do you, you know, have this in and out energy? It's not because I'm getting manipulated. I'm doing it on purpose. Divine Masculine, it's time to go within, okay? Fuck what everyone else thinks and focus. Love you.